Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. How many of you watching this video observe hijab? How many of your women folk observe hijab? I hope many of us are doing so. May Allah grant us more strength and aid us in the obedience to Him. Ameen. Muslim sisters, especially those living in the West, carry their Islamic identity explicitly when they observe hijab. It also makes them more vulnerable to attacks by Islamophobes. So Bara Balat, our Muslim sister living in the Austrian capital Vienna, was attacked on a bus. This was truly upsetting for me. I did not know how to react because it was the first time I found myself in such a situation, she explained. I ignored her until she spat on me, which, during the pandemic, who knows, maybe she was carrying the disease. Although Bolat moved towards the front of the bus, the assailant did not leave her alone and continued to attack her both physically and verbally. I got off the bus, she followed me and attacked my hijab, pulling it very hard. The pulling caused a needle attached to my hijab under my chin to wound me. I yelled at her, but she did not stop until I took out my mobile phone and started taking pictures. She then crossed to the other side of the street. Berlat shared the incident on social media to raise awareness of such discrimination, noting that throughout the ordeal, none of the other passengers came to her defence. Regardless of wearing hijab or not, skin colour or ethnicity, nobody should go through an incident of this sort, and this should not be ignored in any way. She has since filed a report with local police authorities and expects legal consequences. Brothers and sisters, imagine, how does it make you feel when nobody comes to help? The media often talks about radicals. Can it call people who do such things to minorities? People from migrant background radicals? What if this kind of incident happened to non-Muslim women and was carried out by Muslims? There would have been news all over the world. We are done with these double standards and hypocrisy. Honestly, nobody should go through things like this. Regardless of Muslim or non-Muslim, we can't call a place home despite living most of our lives there because of race, ethnicity, and we expect to show loyalty to the state. May Allah help our Muslim sisters and grant our sister Barah justice. Ameen. That's it for today guys. What do you think about this incident? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.